All right, good afternoon. Uh, it's a sad, another sad day at the Chatham County Sheriff's Office. This makes the third arrest we made this year on people either taking stuff from the jail to them bringing stuff into jail. Uh, the lady that's in the center was one of our um, workers on a, the commissary that was bringing stuff into the jail. She got $1,500 to bring some sheets of paper in here that was laced with some drugs and everything. She admitted to it once we uh, talked to her and everything else. She was bringing it in for the gentleman named Williams. He was the buyer. The suppliers in Wheeler County, which is uh, Mr. Johnson, and my understanding he's doing his business with a cell phone in the prison system. I ain't figured that out how he's got by that, but you know, we're not gonna tolerate this. This is something we're not gonna tolerate it. It's very detrimental to get this stuff into jail but it's more detrimental if they take it and hurt one of my officers. You know, my biggest thing is my officers to go home safe, the inmates to be second, my officers are first. So we're not gonna tolerate it. Where they're a civilian employee or where they're a deputy, it doesn't matter. She was denied bond this morning, so she'll be in here with me till they have another hearing, and I think that's sometime in June. The other lady's just been indicted. She's uh, been indicted for bringing drugs into the jail. And the third one, we are waiting on her uh, indictment on her. So again, uh, we at the Chatham County Sheriff's Office is not gonna tolerate this. I don't care who it is, you bring drugs in, you're going to jail. I'll take any questions that y'all might have. I'm sure you go through a very thorough background check, you know, hiring process with these employees. You know, so this certainly is not the fault of the sheriff's office, but moving forward, is there some more stringent uh, plans or things that you're going to do? I know you can't curb it all to ensure that, you know, the, the employees which the office hires, you know, that we don't, or that we have fewer incidences like this? Well, one of the things you got to understand, you can take any one of my employees standing behind me. They've been with me numbers and numbers of jail, years in the jail. If they want to do something, they've already been polygraphed. They've already been done everything we can do. I don't know anything else to do unless I start strip searching everybody in the lobby, and I'm not going to do that. So, you know, they pass a rigorous uh, uh, VSA test and everything else, and we do rigorous backgrounds on them. If y'all got any suggestions what to do, I mean, I'm open for comments. Um, how did you first catch wind that something like this was going on, and how long did this investigation take? We caught wind of it through one of my CID people. You know, in this jail, we have telephones. These inmates will get on the telephone and talk to each other, make all these arrangements through the supplier to the buyer, from the mule that brings it in here. We listen to all conversations, all telephone conversations and everything else, and it's posted when the inmate comes to jail and everything's recorded and it's subject to be listened to. So, you know, if they want to be that idiot and do that stuff, you know, they've even tried to change the language around to where we couldn't understand it, but it happens that we just got a lot of intelligent people here that does a great job at our internal affairs and CID and the whole command staff and everything else. Can you release what kind of drugs that it was? It's, uh, we got it in the crime lab now. It's probably Suboxone or one of the other drugs that uh, comes in today. What they do is they take a sheet of paper and lace it with it, dry it out, and then they'll bring it into the jail and he'll sell it to him. He'll tear it off like chewing gum and sell it to the other inmates, and that's where he makes his money at. Uh, we stop letting uh, letters come into the jail. All the letters go to Atlanta now to the inmates. If it's uh, mail for an attorney-client privilege, what we do is we have an officer there at a Xerox machine with a body camera on. We Xerox the papers that are sent in by the attorneys. We give them a copy. We put the original in his file. We have tried everything in the world to keep it out of here. And that's all they got time to do is think how they can beat the system. That's why they're back there in jail, because they didn't beat the system. Are you having any uh, issues, probably a little more difficult since this is more in a, a city environment than on the rural, let's say, Smith State Prison, where I live at, uh, with, with drone issues, with people trying to get contraband in uh, via the drones? No, we don't have any problem with the drone issues. Uh, my chief deputy got with uh, 
uh, Travis Field, we own a, what they call a drone watch. If anybody flies a drone within a certain feet of this facility here, we are automatically notified. Even when we fly our drone here to take pictures and stuff and everything, we have to notify them at uh, Travis Field that we're doing that. So we haven't had any problems with anybody doing that. And the next problem is they can do it all they want to because the inmates never go out in the yards anyhow. And I know you kind of mentioned, uh, you know, the sheriff's office isn't going to tolerate this type of behavior. Uh, this news is already broke, of course. Um, have you gotten any pushback from the community as far as, like, you know, what's going on over there with the sheriff's office and their employees, and what are you going to do about it? Or Well, you know, you're always going to have what I call Monday morning keyboard quarterbacks. They always got have diarrhea to old cavities. But, you know, we do our job. We're going to do it very efficiently. And, you know, if people don't like it, it's just tough. We're going to do what needs to be done to make, number one, my officer safe, and number two, the inmate safe. And you all have a very uh, important job, a very huge responsibility. You know, sometimes you say it takes a village to raise a child. In a roundabout way, does the community also bear some of the responsibility as far as if you see something, say something, and, or, you know, get, you know, educate your loved ones, you know, hey, if you do this, this is what's going to happen? Sure, we get that all the time. One of the biggest things that we get is one, two, three, four, y'all not getting the news right and not putting it on right. You know, and again, I'll tell you again, I'm going to have a Citizens Academy coming up. I'd like all four of y'all to come in it. Then you can see what goes on in that jail back there and what we do back there. Anybody else have any questions for the sheriff? Um, just yeah. to clarify, was she able to get any of these drugs in, or did you guys catch her before? No. <clears throat> no, she wasn't able to get any of the drugs in. Sir? I, I just, just to clarify, she wasn't able to get any of the drugs in. You guys, you guys caught her? We are not sure where she got them in there or not. Uh, uh, I can't get into the legality of what's going on because it's still an ongoing investigation not only with us but Wheeler County their investigation with them their inmate up there and everything else so I couldn't tell you that to be truthful I don't want to say yay or nay or whatever yes sir yeah, um, what are the protocols after you find something like this um, throughout the, the prison here? well number one the protocol is that person is either arrested or either escorted out of the, the facility and not allowed back in here does everything go on lockdown or do you? Well, yeah, it, well, we go on lockdown and what we do is we go wherever, I think he was in unit eight, nine, one of the units, we went up there and shook the whole unit down, unit eight. We, we get any type information if somebody from the outside calls and says, hey, so-and-so is so-and-so, we go in and do shakedowns. We can do that every day. We have the drug dogs coming into jail, checking everything out, checking our mail out and everything else. Uh, the chief deputy wanted to recognize yeah. the, the, the... Yes, um, just to clarify, go, the protocols that we put in place since the beginning of the year is, is this is the result of that. Um, the safety protocols, the security protocols that the sheriff's put in at the Chatham County Detention Center affected the beginning of this year because he has to constantly but basically take the pulse of the organization and what's going on at the time. So he's really put in, uh, you know, I commend him for having the vision and the forward thinking to not keep doing things the way we've been doing it. He's making the changes. He's making the leadership decisions to implement things in different ways and changing our security protocols, which we've done effectively since the, that's why we get this. That's, that's why we've got the third person since the first of the years because of the changes and the implementations of the proto security protocols that the sheriff's put in. One of that was to beef up our criminal investigation division. The sheriff made the decision to do that as well. Uh, a couple of those members are standing here uh, to my left this morning, or this, this evening, is uh, Corporal Nicole Myers and, and Deputy Raheem Millich, both with very, very extensive amount of experience and the intelligent aspect of what we're doing, and also uh, Deputy or Corporal Myers with her extensive background as an investigator and her, her due diligence. Um, you know, she goes at this and he goes at this with the attitude that what they're doing and what they're preventing to happen in here not only saves, might save the life of one of their fellow employees, but it might save the life of uh, one of the inmates as well. So they take that with a lot of responsibility and a lot of accountability, and they do an amazing job. And uh, they're the ones that should be commended for what, where we're at with this individual being caught, not only caught, but also this individual. The investigation was so so good, and the investigation, the tangible evidence was there that the individual gave us a full confession. Okay. Okay. Thank you all very much. We appreciate your time.